What is going on everyone? Bitter Hyena here. Like normal, today's product I am a little bit behind on, but either way, I'm hoping we can score some good pulls. So without any further ado, for today's video, we've got the Target exclusive Small But Mighty Premium Collection. Now this thing is all sorts of odd. I don't know if odd is the right word for it, but this box is very different than what we normally get. First off, I mean, right off the bat, you can notice for some reason they spent extra money to make pink plastic for this box. I mean, it is a nice touch. I'm not complaining about it. I think it is kind of cool, but it's just odd that to my knowledge, this is the first time they've ever done anything like this. But this box is just massive, man. See, look at that. And they are releasing this art of Togepi, Kleppa, and Iggly Buff just like so freaking late. But it is a beautiful card. I do have it in Japanese. I absolutely love it. It is one of the cards that I would like to get sent off for the first time I grade some cards. I am happy we got the English one finally. We got a nice like assortment of packs in here. We got some sun and moon. We got some sword and shield. And then I spy the bane of my existence. But we'll get to that in a minute. We also got a coin, a keychain, and a very cool little pin of all three of the babies there. There's the upside down part of the box. This thing's massive. I'm not like trying to turn it around and knock my whole setup over here. So we're just going to go with that. So let's go ahead, rip this thing open just like that and see what it's all about i am hoping we've got some good pulls in here there's 10 packs that's a pretty good amount i gotta say for a collection box now this thing retails for 50 bucks like i said at the beginning of the video it is a target exclusive i'm trying very carefully not to knock over my lights and everything and that actually went better than i thought it would so there we go all 10 packs promo all the other extra stuff in there now let's pop this sucker open if i can get it man there we go all right so we got our promo here and one of the nice little backing things i hope they just keep doing that especially when the promo is this nice little focus here come on come on now focus camera there we go that is some adorable freaking artwork probably one of my favorite cards to be completely honest it's so freaking cute i love it such a cool card to have in any collection there's your code for the box whatever it gives you probably just the promo all right let's take a look at all these little extras here real quick we've got the cute little rubber keychain nothing nothing too crazy it is nice though put it on your school bag your purse your book bag your man bag your man purse whatever you want there we go made in china cute we got the baby coin all the babies there we go cleffa togepi iggly buff very very hard to pick up on camera like all these reflective coins always are there we go a little bit there we go and we got the coolest part of it in my opinion besides the promo if i can grab it here we go is this pin this is so dang cute look at that cleffa togepi iggly buff adorable love this pin Oh man, if I was a pin wearing guy, I'd have this on my business lapel all the time. Look at that. Cute. Alright, now let's see. We've got two Darkness Ablaze, which will open last. We've got some Rebel Clash here, base set Sword and Shield. Oh, uh, we got Burning Shadows, Burning Shadows, uh, Crimson Invasion. Ooh, those are stuck together. Okay. All right. We got base set sun and moon, two of those, and fucking steam siege. But who knows? Maybe we can get a full art trainer because that's about the only thing I would want from that set. Let's get to it. All right. We get the promo up here in the shot a little bit. Get the stuff here. Good enough. Let's get to it. All right. Steam siege. Let's get this one over with. All right ripping apart pretty easy pokemon company still just breaking out x and y crap 
years later. We got Flaffy, Steelix Spirit Link, Shield On. We got an Oshawott, Sneasel, C Dot. We got Drifloon stealing the kids and an Apalm. Who cares? We got Weavile, a Gastrodon, and that's it. Didn't even realize the Weavile was a reverse. So, there we go. Steam Siege out of the way. Let's get to the decent packs. We got Sun and Moon base set here. Hopefully get something good. Another Ultra Ball. Full Art Lily. Uh, I don't know what else, honestly. I can't remember what's in this set. There we go. Code. One, two, and three. Energy off, because Sun and Moon has energies. We've got Brion, a Poliwhirl. We got a Stentany. Cute little Growlithe there. We got a Surskit, a Four Mantis. We got Morlol, a Sandy Gas. We got a Reverse Growlithe. And on the end, we got a non hollow Cloister. Not nothing. I mean, it's we're just two packs in. Third pack. We didn't gotta pull something right yet. Like I said before, I would rather save the pulls for the newer packs if I could. Get something good. Even Burning Shadows. Love to save it for that. Still need the Charizard. Alright. Here we go. Next pack. We got Herdier. We got a Alolan Persian Dartrix. A Psyduck. We got Eevee Energy Evolution. We got Picky Peck and Alolan Meowth. We got Sandile, a Reverse Drowsy, and on the end, we got a non-hollow Decidueye. So still nothing, but you know, here on the channel, we're awful with collection boxes, so this isn't news to anyone. All right, we got Crimson Invasion. Set that was very difficult for me to get any good pulls in, though I think I did pull Lusamine was in this for Lusamine, I believe. I did get that, which was a good one. I was happy about that. But it was off camera, so. Alright. Next pack. Here we go. We got Selgor, a Kakuna. We got Laron, a Swablu. We got Punkaboo, an Execute. We got Weedle, a Shellos. Both of them. We got a Reverse Counter Energy, which ain't too bad. And on the end. We got a non hollow rare camera up. So, okay. Still not, still not worried. Still not worried. We got Burning Shadows now. Now is when the pools need to start coming. First one up here Necrozma. Bless us with a hyper rare Charizard. That's it. That's all I want. You don't have to give me anything else after that. There you go. Just, just the hyper rare Zard. That's all I ask. That ain't too much, right? All right, we've got Wobbuffet, Ace of Rolla. We got Gloom, a, a Cutie Fly. We got Horsey, a Venipede. We got Sneasel, Crab Brawler. Our reverse is a Fat Butterfree. And on the end, we've got, ooh, we got a Full Art Trainer, Kiawe. I will take it. Oh yes, pulling Full Art Trainer never bad, never bad. What? so freaking ever oh that's awesome okay all right i'm happy there we go if we don't pull anything else we got a full art trainer i love me some full art trainers i will take it all right next burning shadows pack camera having trouble focusing again all right can we get double pulls from burning shadows this is another set i didn't have too much luck with but that's changed a bit gotta say all right next pack we've got semi poor a knocked out we got elect buzz esper we got a pan sage we got pan poor almost knocked a light off i'm awful we got a lol and rattata our reverse is a tangrowth and on the end we got a weavile all right now we are up to the modern era of packs. Base set sword and shield. Let's go. See if we can get the golden quick ball. I'm gonna bring it up every time we open up base set sword and shield until it happens. Maybe we'll do a series with this if I ever pull the shiny Charizard from 
Uh, Hidden Fates. Almost forgot the name of that set. We got Pseudo Wudo. Hey, Roselia. We got Ghastly. Maybe. We got Ponyard. A hey, Salizapede. We got Yamper. A hey, Reverse Galvantula. And on the end, we got a Hollow Rhyferior. About time we got an actual Hollow, man. Kind of a kind of a letdown with most of these packs. All right, Rebel Clash. Up next, let's see. I don't remember what's in Rebel Clash either. Gold card Pokemon, full art trainer, whatever. Give it to me. One, two, three. Energy off. Psychic energy. All right, here we go. We got Dracolok, a, a Tranquil. We got Sonya. A Toxel, we got Litwick, cute card. We got Lotad, chilling in the water. We got Clefairy, a Voltorb. We got Reverse Milo, and on the end, we got an Arcanine that is, of course, not hollow. Final two packs, winding down now. Darkness Ablaze, of course. Can we pull the Charizard VMAX? I've still got tons of those. What are they called? Celebration blisters? The ones that's got the two packs in it? I've got a whole, like, display box full of them. Just an absolute ton of them to open. I think it's 48 packs total. We need to do that here fairly soon when I get some time to record a video that long. We've got a Soul Rock starting off with. We got Relicanth, a Yellhorn. We got Fletchling, a Wimpod. We got Grimer. A Clink, we get Ducklet, a Teddy Ursa as our reverse, and on the end we got a Crobat V. All right, now if we're gonna pull a V from this set, it might as well be Crobat. Very playable, at least when it came out it was. I have pulled one of these off camera, so I almost have a playset. Not bad, there we go, Crobat V. Two more and I do have a playset. All right, final pack. Let's see what we can end with. 10 packs here, two major pulls, one hollow. We gotta end with something good, man. Let's see. Can we get two hits from Darkness Ablaze? I doubt it, but who knows? There we go. There's your code. One, two, and three. Energy off. All right. Final pack. Let's see what this box can give us. We got Pupitar, a Corvusquire. We got Hiding Energy. We got an Electric Dino. We got a Pass Simeon. I don't remember that artwork. We got Comia Bunnelby. Always great to have you. We got Vanillite, a Reverse Rose Tower, and on the end, we've got a Hollow Agron. I'll take it as a hit. I will take it as a hit. So, was it worth 50? Eh, probably not. I will say, if it wasn't, and I've talked about this before, if it wasn't for doing videos, these $50 boxes are such a gamble, man. I mean, you're opening cards, it's always gonna be a gamble. I don't mean to sound like I am complaining, but for a normal person spending 50 bucks, just trying to get some packs to open, buying a collection box that big and not get nothing, ugh, it sucks. Though I will say, my collection box luck is crap. And this one wasn't too bad, honestly, compared to what I have gotten before. Always good to pull a full art trainer, no matter what, in my opinion. So that right there, even though it's probably not too expensive of a card, completely made this box for me. Crobat V was just an extra, and you gotta love the promo, so. But alrighty, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe, and check out another video while you're at it. Don't forget to hit the little bell button, get notifications when more videos go up. But as always, guys, thank you so much for the love and support. It is greatly appreciated, and I will talk to you all later. See you.